way. Way bigger than I expected. That's gonna take a while to repair. So we just came from the water and filmed some tutorials with the boat. Some with the slalom board, some with the foil board. And yeah, in the end, what had to happen happened. I crashed into the boat. Sometimes if you want really good recordings, that's just what happens. I crashed the board, unfortunately. I don't know if you were able to see that crash in the recordings, but yeah, it's a pretty gnarly crash. I think most of you are more familiar with crashes on top of the nose, which is a common thing if you crash with a mast on top of the nose. So this is kind of underneath, but I think it's a, it's pretty much a similar repair that you would do with that. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna repair this and I'm gonna show you how to repair it. But before we start repairing the board, it was time for Ole to switch from being behind the camera to being the star of the vlog. Okay guys, so the day has finally come that Ole, my videographer, is learning to windsurf. We got him a beginner board and he's rigging the sail right now. So let's see how this goes. I'm excited for him to get out on the water and windsurf. We didn't even go on the water yet and it was clear that he had not taken away too much from filming me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta pull it through the cleat, through the cleat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I call it! That's exactly how you don't carry it. <laughs> Push the sail forward a little bit, stretch the front arm to the nose of the board. Nice. Good job, man. Epic! It's a good tag, but I will show you something about your hands. How did you know how to turn around? I don't know, that's how I did it like eight years ago. <laughs> front foot in front of the mask, and then with your new front hand, and with your new back hand. And after I showed him how to tag properly, I felt like I could leave him alone for a bit to get my board ready for the repair. So while all is hopefully improving on the water right now, I'm just going to the repair shop to get my board repaired and to show you how such a repair looks. Knock knock. Hi there. Hi. This is Julian from Corona Kick from Richtig Druck and Surf and Kite Repair in Hamburg. And you're gonna take my board now to repair it. Yes. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Do you want to see the crash? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you can't really see it, but you can hear it kind of. I would say I'll bring the board in and you repair it and thanks for taking some videos. Yeah, let's do it. So you drill the holes right where the damage is and then it'll kind of look like somebody shot your board. I'll let Julian tell you what this is for. I will fix the core with a maritime PU foam closed cell so when you hit the next rock it won't suck any water in. So you mix your two component PU foam and punch it into the holes just like that. After you're done with that you need to get rid of the spilled pudding. For the rough cut you can use a spatula but then you need to start sanding. Until the surface is nice and even. And then plastic film on the board to get the sizing for the carbon layers right. This one here kind of looks like Bigfoot sole, but whatever. Take it away, Julian. Then I will laminate it with two layers of carbon fiber. Time to clean the area and mix the two component epoxy just like this. It's always good to impregnate the shoe so, uh, carbon layers up front before you place them on your damage. Being a pro, Julian used a vacuum pump. Press it really tightly against the rails with a vacuum pump. But it's also possible without the pump. Oh man, do I love the look of carbon. But time to go back to sanding. And then just filler it and uh, sand it and paint it. Yeah. To fill the gaps, Julian uses polyester filler. He practiced spreading it every morning with a piece of bread and Nutella. Well, anyway. And then yet again, sanding it down to give it its final shape before you put the primer on. This sounds so satisfying, doesn't it? After the primer, he finishes off with the final color. Obviously, all of this takes a couple of days, so before I could see the final result, I had to get back to Ole. And when I came back to the beach, you guys will not believe what I was seeing. Ole flew over the lake like an absolute... Oh, wait, that's not him. Yeah, yeah, that right there is him. This is such a beginner classic. He's way downwind. Why is he not? First going upwind, and then windsurfing upwind, rather than going downwind straight away because he knows he can't keep up wind so 
Now he's all the way down there and has to carry his gear back up here. Such a classic. Okay, now there is some wind, but please start further from there. You don't want to pick me up? I don't want to pick you up from all the way there. Just start from somewhere there. <laughs> Put your back foot on the board. Bring the sail up. Make sure you stay on the slight downwind. Nah! Hold up! Nah! <laughs> Geil! <laughs> Jetzt geht's ab! <laughs> no way! Alter! Was geht ab? Hey, how was it? Good! Are you gonna keep windsurfing? I'm gonna keep visiting you. He's gonna keep <laughs> from now on. <laughs> to go windsurfing. You did quite well, man. You went yeah, from I'm surprised. almost zero to beach start to tag to almost planing. Coming back to the place where, where I initially started. Where you started. <laughs> yeah. Not walking up to it. Pretty sick. Good job, yeah. man. I'm gonna do the whole PWA tour next year. Yeah. Just sad stuff. So, guys, be prepared for all the to come on the PWA tour. I'm back at the repair shop and I'm about to pick up my board. Fingers crossed that it looks good. And it kind of looks good. Yeah. Look at that. You match the color really well, huh? Yeah, it's my uh, special magic paint. <laughs> <laughs> What's so special about it? It takes on the original color automatically. Ah, okay. But... Wow, looks good. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you need anything 3D printed or board repair, anything, I'll put the link in the description so you can check their guys' website out. So let's get in the car. Okay, that's it. Board repair is done. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. I think it was a little bit quick and dirty as they said it because they fixed it within like one or two days. But definitely check it out if you're from around here and you need a repair. And yeah, that's it from this video, guys. I think my new knee pride sales are coming really really soon, at least some of them. If you want to see those, make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, leave a like and I would say see you next time. What did you do? I almost did the back loop thing. Oh no, I missed it. The board went like this. I'm gonna do the whole PWA tour next year. Yeah. Just sad stuff.